Centering the worksheet horizontally or vertically. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the Page Layout tab. Go to the Page Setup grouping. Click on Page Setup. And then you're going to click on your Margins tab in Page Setup. Click on Center Page Horizontally, Center Page Vertically. Click OK and your page is done. Inserting and removing, insert and removing page breaks. To do this, you have to go into the page break preview. And as you can see, it's a whole different look. You can take this and move the page break between July, June and July. And if you want total to be on another page by itself, you can click on the column where total occurs. And then you can go to breaks on page layout. Click on breaks. Do an insert page break. And now you have not only one page, you have one, two, three pages. A lot of time in Excel, you will go into print preview. And you would notice that as you go to multiple pages, the information located in the columns and the information located in the rows are just on one page. There is a way in Excel to put that information on every page. How do you do that? Well, you go back into Excel and then you go to Page Layout tab, click on Page Layout, Setup, go to, the, you click on the Sheet tab, and we actually want the columns here to be printed on all three pages. So we're going to click in Columns to repeat at left. We're going to click here to collapse the box. I'm going to come and click here, and I'm actually going to put a3. I'm going to get rid of my N and I'm going to put A21 and expand my collapse box. Go into print preview. Go to the second page. It should still, still be there. Go to the third page. It's there. And that's how you can print columns or either rows on multiple pages. To insert a header, header or footer in Excel, you have to go into a particular view, and that view is Page Layout View. So I'm going to click on Page Layout View. I'm going to scroll, and I'm going to scroll to the left, and I'm just going to scroll up. Now you can see we're in Page Layout View, and as you can see now, there is a left area, there's a right area, and there's a center area. You are now in design, your tab is in design, and now you have, you can insert a page number, you can insert current date, you can insert your name here, You can go to the footer and you can insert a file path or a file name and do all those things. And then once you are completed with that, you go back into normal view. And by going back into normal view, you won't see your information until you go into print preview and then you can see your information there.